Okay. Little muggles. Did he just... Don't even pretend like it's supposed to make sense. I know what you're supposed to be doing. Broken game. It's lucky it's Harry Potter because Hello it's there. really a broken game in many points. Hello, Amit. Do I recall At least on PC, that you speak let's say that. I did. I mean, I do. Speak it. Is this to do with the goblin I saw you with in Hogsmeade? It is. His name is Lodgok. We could use your help with something. He's waiting for me near a goblin mine. Would you be willing to help? Of course. How exciting. I mean... Well, might this be dangerous? I think he simply wants to show me something that involves gobbledygook. If it helps, he's a friend of Serona's. Good to hear. Good to hear. If Serona trusts him, then I feel much better. Have you ever spoken directly to a goblin? Unbelievably, no. I'm so Racist. looking forward to it. <laughs> Actually conversing in gobbledygook with a native speaker. Cannot wait to confirm subtle bits of pronunciation and tone that may have eluded me, being self-taught and all. Lodgok is waiting. Of course. I just want to check the pronunciation of a couple of key terms first. So I will meet you there. What a shit hole. Shit, I'm dead. Ah, that was terrible. I wasn't paying attention. Ah, la, 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 la.
looks intriguing. No, it doesn't. Wait, I marked the point. Damn it, it was over there. Ugh. Okay. Ooh. The broom is pretty cool. I will really A friend give who speaks gobbledygook is meeting us. Before he arrives, perhaps you could tell me why we're here. Of course. Unfortunately, presenting Ranrock with the helmet of Urtgot did not have the effect I'd hoped. Because he knew the details surrounding its plunder, he presumed I'd had help from a witch or wizard in retrieving it. You said this would repair the chasm between the two of you. How did you not expect him to react this way? I'm afraid we do not have the luxury of rational expectation when it comes to Ranrock. Damn Bragbor Look at the windmill behind. Journals. He looks so bad. An ancestor of Ranrock, renowned metal worker. If we are to work together, I suppose I must tell you more. Not long ago, Ranrock sent me to collect a recently unearthed set of Bragbor's journals. They describe repositories that Bragbor had been commissioned to build for a group of witches and wizards. What do you mean, repositories? Large, magically fortified receptacles crafted from goblin metal. Ranrock recruited others to help me locate the repositories. We were to search anywhere that was connected to five names mentioned in the journals. Rackham, Fitzgerald, Bacar, Morganock, and Rookwood. Rookwood Castle. That is where we began our search. Why does Ranrock care so much about these repositories? He cares about what they contain. For centuries, wizards have refused to share their magical knowledge with goblins. <laughs> Your kind will not even let us carry wands. Thus, many goblins, myself included, have spent our lives mistrusting wizard kind. Ranrock was convinced that the repositories contained a magical power that wizards wanted to keep for themselves. He was, is, determined to take it for goblin kind. But he's... Here comes my friend Amit. Probably best to continue our conversation later. Greetings, Lord Gok. It is an honor, sir. You speak gobbledygook. Oh, Bagalio. Enough. Please do not tell me that was meant to be gobbledygook. I, um, well, yes. <laughs> Perhaps my pronunciation was a bit off. I imagine certain dialects differ. Pronunciation is not the issue. I barely recognize that as language. I trust you can read gobbledygook better than you can speak it? I can, Sir Lodgok. Just Lodgok. Thankfully, we only need someone who can decipher written plans, since I cannot join you in the mine. What written plans? And why can't you come with us? We need some idea of what Ranrock knows or is plotting. I suspect a careless loyalist may have left plans behind. And I'm unable to join you because I cannot risk anyone reporting my presence to Ranrock. All you need to do is not be seen, either by the eye above the enchanted door or a loitering loyalist. Amit and I can do this. I will await your return. I shall see you soon. Clever. The door is looking at us. It's exactly like the chest. It's not that complicated. Like, oh my god. Seriously. Books so rarely prepare one for reality. A real goblin mine. It's even grander than I had expected. <laughs> I cannot believe I met a goblin. 
Let's just learn what we can and get out. Look at this lift. Impressive workmanship for so simple a device. Impressive workmanship aside, it's the only way forward. I still can't believe we're inside here. <laughs> you were involved in mine. Hmm. I've read about mines like this, but seeing one is something else altogether. Dang it. Oh wow, okay, the game was not ready for that. Uh, uh, Gee. You need to be careful. As I'm sure you know, not all goblins are as friendly as Lodlock, to say the least. Goodbye from far away. Oh wait, I can Why is slow them. You are. Show yourself if if you're there. Someone there. That was a little more than I'm used to. I'll get us through here safely. You have my like, word. Like they are so bloody stupid. Confused. I thought that was that. Uh, maybe there is somewhere. Oh well. Feel like a character from one of the adventure books I read during the summer holidays. Let's take a look around, Amit. See if we can find any plans. Bound to be a schematic. They're building something. I can't quite make it out. Curious. I will get to the bottom of what they've been building down here. Okay. Seen, do we? Fascinating to see gobbledygook written in a goblin hand. The flourishes are extraordinary. Let me know if you see any more plans or schematics. We can't return to Lodgok empty headed. They are so fucking dumb. Hmm. Someone there. That's the last loyalist. Unfortunate, really. 
and imagine those goblins to be brilliant and kind. Revelio. Uh, brilliant. Uh, not in this game, they're not. Yeah, maybe I complain too much, but like... If I'm translating this correctly, and I think that I am, they're building something rather large. But what? There must be more notes around here. What could they be building? Please, come on. Okay, fuck that. Are they going to build? This mine is too small for whatever it is. Open that up. Oh, okay. Just like that.
Whoops, sip, 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 Ah, that's just the potions. Okay, cool. Did I get anything that was ever better? No. No. Mayhaps. No. And. No. Where is the fire starting from? The other room, maybe? I'm quite good at sneaking about. You'll see. Yep. That's the normal way. I'm confused now. Maybe it's the exit. Yeah. This is not good. They're building enormous drills, bigger than this mine could contain. Rebellia. Let's get out of here and tell Lord Gok what we found. Probably miss lots of things, but I don't really care. I need a moment to catch my breath. This was more than I bargained for. I'm glad you came with me, Amit. Now that we know what they're up to, we can get out of here. Oh, well. We're almost out of 
here, Amit. Look, the lift. A welcome sight indeed. Can we please talk about what just... That wasn't so bad, was it? It was. It really was. I'm afraid I've had enough adventure for one day. For a lifetime, perhaps. Thank you, Amit. I couldn't have done it without you. Now, if you don't mind, I'd like to have a word with Lord Gok. Understood? I'll leave you to it. Your goblin secrets are safe with me. But I get to write the book about this escapade someday. Without further ado, at you. Bit of French. Good on you, my friend. Revenio. Is that the ball? I just I dang it. Okay, found that. Where was I supposed to drop it anyway? Mm. Looking around that isn't too convenient. It's great to move around. But it doesn't really work as a way. Like there should be like one but additional button just to uh move the camera up and down like right now r1 is useless so i could just uh r1 or you know right to first right to go what return to quest area what the fuck are you talking about oh right okay they're building enormous drills i fear you are correct other than Rookwood Castle, however. I've been wondering about something else you said before we entered the mall. Yes? If you share Runrock's views, then why are you helping me? I expected Rookwood Castle to be deserted when I arrived to begin my search. So was surprised to find a witch there who had set up a sort of improvised research site. She was studying something so intently that she almost didn't notice me. When she looked up, I thought she would react with fear or disdain. But instead, she did something that I will never forget. Without a moment's hesitation, she smiled and asked me to sit with her. She told me that she was a researcher and showed me a small oddly shaped container with the strange symbol on it. Mm -hmm. She was certain it was made of goblin metal, but was unable to open it. She wanted to work together. Miriam. Yes. But how did you... Professor Fig's wife. He told me of her research, and I know of the container. Ah. <sighs> The reverence with which she talked of goblins and their intelligence and skill, it caught me entirely off guard. I'd never been treated with such respect by a witch or wizard. So, to my surprise, I let her study the container if she would allow me to search the castle on my own. We parted ways with her promising to share what she'd learned. More of Ranrock's recruits arrived, and we began to dig, eventually locating the first repository. Ranrock was thrilled with our discovery, but furious when I told him about Miriam. 
berated me for trusting a witch when I heard she had been killed. You think Van Rock murdered her? I don't want to believe it. But I don't know. After that, something shifted in me. I had seen how the power from the repositories was transforming Ranrock, transforming all of them. I could no longer remain a part of it. Thank you, Lord Gog, for telling me this. Mm. I tell you all of this so that you understand what is at stake. <sighs> Ranrock never found all of Bragbor's journals, but the ones he did find suggest that Bragbor, at some point, built a repository far greater in size than the one beneath Rookwood Castle. What you've discovered here today worries me deeply. If Ranrock learns of the location of that repository, I fear we shall be destined for a great war. I will find out what Ranrock knows. Watch for my owl. Okay. Faster, High Wing. I believe my next broom upgrade to be even more impressive than the last. Come by Spin Witches as soon as you can. Sometimes it seems all roads lead to Hogsmeade. How is standing behind a pill counting the clock? Hello again. Wonderful to see you. As before, I've arranged a special price on the broom upgrade for you. You'll be thrilled with that broom, I promise you. set with the new upgrade. I can't wait to hear what you think. <clears throat> this may sound presumptuous, but... You'd like me to report back with even more flight details? <laughs> you know me well. I feel I'm almost there. I just think I can improve broom flight a bit more. Miss Ray's is running a time trial at the South Coast course. Not ideal, really, what with rumours of Ranrock's lot. And... However, if you're flying high above them, you... I'm not worried, Mr. Weeks. I hope you are able. Do be careful of... I look forward to our next meeting. Let's do that first. I should identify stuff. 
proud of all the potions you've brewed. Got it. And they're not good. Okay. Welcome back. Hello, Professor. I have news. The goblins are looking for something. Another repository. They've built drills to help with their search. Oh, most troubling. Are these repositories like the broken container I found at Rookwood Castle? They are. I fear we have no time to lose. Have a look at the map. Fortunately, the next trial is fairly nearby. It's Hogwarts. As you know, I was headmistress in my time. My portrait hangs in the headmaster's office. In fact, I witnessed Professor Black learn of your arrival. And I'll confess that I wondered about you. Wait, is the next trial in the headmaster's office? It is. I had hoped that when the time came, the occupant of that office would be of help to us. Unfortunately, this headmaster seems wildly unconcerned with anything but himself. You'll need to access the office while he's away. I understand. Very well. We'll find some way to get in. Good. I shall meet you in my portrait there. Until then. Okay. How will Wonder. I gain access to the headmaster's office? Perhaps Professor Fig will know what to do. Professor Fig, the Keepers have shown me where the next trial is. Has something changed? Lodgog and I have learned that the goblins are searching for another repository, like the one we saw at Rookwood Castle. And I discovered that they're building massive drills to help in their search. Professor Fitzgerald seemed very concerned. I see. Ranrock clearly knows even more than we suspected. And sir, there's something else. Lodgok knew Miriam. He knew Miriam? They encountered each other at Rookwood Castle. She was doing research. That's where she found the container with the port key. He liked her so much that he let her leave with it, despite orders from Ranrock. I don't know what to say. She could win over almost anyone. I want to hear more of this. And, in fact, I'd like to speak with Lodgok directly. But we've no time now. Where is the next trial? Oh, there is Believe a it or not, monkey it's stupid in the headmaster's stuff. office. Incredible. All right. You'll need the password to get past the stone gargoyle. The headmaster's house elf will know it. I've actually met Scrope, but I'm not sure he'll tell me. He's rather devoted to the Black family. He is. So you'll need a disguise. I have just the thing. A polyjuice potion. You'll look and sound like Professor Black. Wait. Doesn't polyjuice potion require a bit of the person you want to change into? And take ages to brew. It does. So how do you already have Polyjuice Potion to change into Professor Black? One never knows when such a thing may come in handy. Let's just say I felt the need to be prepared for anything after my fruitless trip to the Ministry on his behalf. Now, time is of the essence. Drink up and I shall explain more. Does it just keep like a stack of hair? Everyone. 
How do you feel? Incredible. I won't forget that taste anytime soon. <clears throat> How do I sound? Convincing. I've taken the liberty of transfiguring your robes. As we discussed, you'll need the password from Scrope, who could be anywhere in the castle. You might look for Professor Kagawa. She's taken to badgering the poor elf about Quidditch in the hopes that he can convince Black to change his mind. Thus far, unsuccessfully. I see. But what if Professor Black sees me? Leave him to me. I shall tell him where to meet a liaison from the Ministry in Hogsmeade. That should give you plenty of time. Thank you, Professor. I suppose we'll meet again in the map chamber. It's rather strange to hear gratitude coming from Professor Black. <laughs> I'll see you there. Now to find the Headmaster's house elf. Can I wait? I thought I had an option for waiting the map. Maybe it's not available right now. And I can't teleport either, I see. Okay, well, that's something to remember. Jeez Louise! Professor, a moment of your time, please. Professor, I was hoping to catch you, I... Oh, I, um, places to be, Professor Sharp, places to be. Of course, sir. Only, <clears throat> you'd asked me about a particular potion, and I... Well, I... I did? I did, yes. Well, spit it out, Sharp. I don't have all day. Probably best not to discuss it here, sir. I assure you, Sharp, you may speak freely. Very well. I've brewed the cure for boils you wanted. I can drop it by your office when it's convenient. <clears throat> of course, yes. No need for all the cloak and dagger. Simply have a student deliver it. A student. Very well, sir, if you insist. I do. And thank you, Sharp. I just hope you've brewed enough for all my boils. Now, to determine which student gets this rather unenviable task. If you must speak with me, consult my secretaries or what have you. Now move along. What could the headmaster want? That was nice. A bit fast, but cool. Has anyone seen my ivory-handled hand mirror? Of course you haven't. Headmaster, here, what could he want? Mr. Gaunt, where do you think you're going? I beg your pardon, sir, I'm simply on my way outside. Taking the day off, eh? Typical student, wasting the hours away. I... I have to write 20 inches on Dittany and its uses was heading to the greenhouse. Ah, yes! Mixed with, uh, bubo tuba pus makes a, a fine, uh, mustache paste. Yes, mustache paste. Uh, I find. <clears throat> Are you feeling all right, sir? You don't seem yourself. I assure you I am quite healthy, Gaunt. If I need a medical diagnosis, I shall head to St. Mungo's. You Something is very wrong with Professor Bob. <laughs> Professor, a word? I should like to speak with you, Professor. Professor Black? 
Again, it is not too late to reconsider your decision regarding Quidditch. We... we could still have trials and a somewhat shortened season. It would be better than none at all. But the injury, Madam Kagawa. Professor, more than one student has taken a bludger to the head on our pitch. I dare say it knocked some sense into them. And they're fine now. The fact that it happened to be a pure blood, well, that's no reason to... What? Nonsense. That you would trivialize the health of a student over a, a silly game. A silly game? I... You are quite impossible sometimes. Sir, I have a good mind to write to the Department of Magical Games and Sports at the Ministry about you. Good idea. I can even provide the parchment should you need it. Now, where is my elf? I... parchment? Very well, I will, and with pleasure. And I spotted Scrope in the Great Hall. Seems to be avoiding me. Hmm, I wonder why. Good day, Madam Kagawa. What did we do to deserve him as a headmaster? Greetings! I mean, out of my way, children! Wait. I have... I don't have the right wand. It's stupid ah. that I'm allowed to have it outside. Ah. Oh. <gasps> Miss Broom, a word. Oh, Professor, this is an uh, interesting surprise. It's Bloom, by the way. Remind me of your area of affinity, Broom. OWLs are swift approaching. Charms, sir. Non-verbal spells. Might work on one that makes me disappear. Well, keep at it, Broom. And before you know it, you'll be as invisible as that new fifth year seems to be. They're not invisible, sir. I've seen them near the library. In fact, they help me with my, uh, heavy books. <laughs> Speaking of invisible, where's my blasted house elf? Something seems a little off with the headmaster. Well, here's the wrong wand. I haven't time for any of you at the moment. None. None at all. Move aside. They don't do this course. Whoa. Slytherin and Ravenclaw have zero points? The hell? Professor, mm -hmm. I need to speak to you. Do you now? Hello, Professor Black. Ah, Professor Weasley. How, how delightful to see you. Sir? Ah, uh, since I have you here, I wonder if I might um, speak with you about Professor Fig. Oh. Very well. I've decided to give him a bit more uh, leeway with his time. Leeway, Professor? Are you sure that's wise? I confess I do worry for his students. He's rarely here as it is. I realize that, and I'd like to keep it that way. I see. But, sir, if I may, I am wary of how much time the new fifth year seems to be spending away from the castle, supposedly on Professor Fig's behalf. I've heard unsettling rumors of their escapades. Everything from sneaking into the Forbidden Forest to confronting Ranrock's loyalists and Rookwood's lot. <coughs> what? <coughs> Goodness. You cannot believe everything you hear, Professor. No, 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 you cannot. <coughs> I mean, I shall keep an eye on Fig. You simply keep doing the wonderful job that you're doing. <laughs> simply wonderful. I... well, I... Um, thank you. But I'm happy to look into... Uh, good, good. That'll be all, Weasley. I, I mean, Professor Weasley. Good day. A wonderful job. Leeway for Professor Fig. I shall never understand that man. That ought to give Professor Fig some breathing room. But that room belonged to your sister, and I'll have you know that she is beside herself. 
Never mind that you could have died. No more brewery. Professor Black is happy with Scrope's performance as his house elf. There's no doubt in Scrope's mind. Scrope! Oh, greetings, Master. Remind me of the password to my office. Oh, but Master made Scrope swear never to tell anyone. Even Master himself. And now I'm telling you that you can tell me. Uh, uh yes, sir. Uh, of course, sir. Uh, Scrope begs forgiveness. It is the Black family motto, Master. Hmm. Right. Of course. I, uh... Master does remember it. It's pure bloods forever, isn't it? Uh, close, Master. Uh, Scrope thinks Master is indeed testing Scrope. Uh, it is always pure. <laughs> Obviously. And, of course, as Master knows, in French. Ah, yes, of course. Uh, I order you to pronounce it for me. Oh, Master knows that Scrope's French is most pitiful. <laughs> oh, very well. Toujours pure. There is another matter, Scrope. I confiscated this filthy diary from a student. It smells of squid and seawater. Oh, Apollonia's diary. <clears throat> that is quite a surprise, Master. What do you wish Scrope to do with this treasure? <clears throat> Rubbish. Whatever you wish, Scrope. It's your treasure. Now, off with you. Uh. The Polyjuice Potion's wearing off. I best get out of sight. Uh. 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 Ah, made it just in time. It's wearing off. Uh. The burping is pretty funny. Uh. Fick was right. I can't believe it worked. Now, to speak the password to the gargoyle. Incendio! I believe I can sneak away without drawing my mother's eye. Meet me near Hogsmeade, and we will devise a plan. Ah. more. Yep, 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 yep. You should be proud of all the potions you brewed. Oh, that's cool. You know what? Let's hide that face.
nobody knew who I was until I keep an eye on high places around the school for Zenobia's gobstones. Until I wore the mask. Wait, is there one of those uh, monkey stuff? I forgot there is one in the office. Fig. That's one of Zenobia's gobstones. I hardly see what all the fuss is about. Revelio. Oh, that's cute. Jeez Louise, you have those airs. Places around the school for Zenobia's gobstones. Toujours pur. Pavelio. Decent English, to be honest, for uh, decent French for uh, English person. House health. The gargoyle. That's where I need to speak the password. Oof, too annoyed. Toujours pure. Oh god, yeah, she definitely doesn't speak French. But cool to go in that office. Wait. All the elite wizarding families have a motto. Rebellion. It's good to see you. All thanks to Professor Fig's quick thinking. Now what? Approach the pedestal in the antechamber and read the book that appears. I suspect there will be more to this than reading a book. Your suspicions are correct. We shall speak when you are finished. Has this been under the headmaster's nose all this time? Revelio. Must be the pedestal. Where is that team coming from?
Okay, I probably should just ignore it. Professor Fitzgerald, can you hear me? I am here. In this place, you may call me Leave. You shall be witness to a fable. Pay attention. Things are not always as they seem. Oh, that's you really cool. You must move swiftly and cautiously. Use the tools you encounter to find me. The first you will need is a cloak. In this place, as in life, death takes many forms. Avoid each of them at all costs. Okay, I can really dig a different visual style. choice. I have to be sneaky and I can't actually use the one to distract them, but they don't seem to pay attention, so that works. I should have run when I could. I'd be free by now. Uh, uh. Best move while I can. Neve must be here somewhere. I need to time this just right. I see. A staircase straight ahead. They won't be able to find me if I go up there. I can fly. Well, you know. Whatever. <laughs> this is my chance. I'm coming, Neve. <gasps> Too many. I must cross this road as fast as I can. That's where I need to go. But I need to find a way past them. Whoopsie. I'm dead. to go, but I need to find a way past them. Ah. 
Nothing this way but more danger. There must be another way to find you. I need to turn back. There's no getting past them that way. That oh, closed tight. No way but forward, I suppose. my chance. That's the way forward. Okay. So I gotta keep on invisibility. With me. I think I'm invisible. See me at all. I can get closer to them. And what's this is the, the point? way forward. Finally free. Now, where are you, Neve? I mean, do I get the stone and the wand as well? You have had one death thus far, but have yet to find me. Keep searching, but this time you will be unable to hide. Okay. Wield the wand you Weird. see before you. Do not squander its extraordinary power. You know, I was more into it before you just like use just the um, uh, objects of power. I've never felt such power. Descender. Oh, okay. The pulse. Bombarda. Ah, Bombarda, which I still don't have. It's a bit easy, but it definitely works well to change, uh, to make a shader like that, you know, for a special moment.
Oopsie. Oh, Come on. Come on again. Oh la la la, I really wish the aiming... It's not the aiming, it's the... Um... locking system would actually stick on target here. Watch it seems. Uh, I can't believe she's dead. Oh, poor Neve. Let us always honor her memory. May her memory be a treasure to us forever. You found me, but you cannot undo what has been done. The magic of the stone can only conjure a shadow of my former self. But there is no light without shadow as there is no shadow without light. Simply because you can eliminate darkness, 
does not always mean that you should. Uh, you can have Remember light that, without as darkness. You witness my memory. It's like hot and cold. I get the philosophical point. Well, you know. What you did for your father was remarkable, well, wasn't it? And Percival needn't worry about the strands of emotion or the traces that this magic leaves. I found a way to contain all of it. You haven't stopped. Goblin Silver. You spoke to a goblin about this. Don't worry, he has no idea what we're containing. We don't know what effect any of this may have. The emotions, the dark traits. You sound like Percival. And as it happens, I do know. It is a source of strength, of focus. Somehow it enhances my ability to wield magic. I don't follow, Isadora. I think we can harness it. Power like this is not to be toyed with in the wrong hands. You saw again. what I did for my father. Only have imagined the good we could do. Everyone is in some kind of pain. This must stop. All of us. You've kept this power to yourselves for so long because you fear it. I choose to embrace it. Okay. If there is a bad ending, I'm taking it. completed the first three trials. It is, and I have. But you are so... Young. I know. You must be Professor Bacar. I am. Pleased to meet you. The pensive memory I just witnessed. Was Isadora inhaling painful emotions? She was. I was amazed to see that it seemed to give her some sort of power and that she could harness it. But how? I worry that you seem more intrigued than repulsed. I hesitate to reveal the location of my pensive to someone who, perhaps, has yet to understand the responsibility of power. I can assure you, Professor, I do. In fact, what you don't yet know is that a dangerous goblin called Ranrock has accessed the repository at Rookwood Castle. He has learned to harness the contents of it as a source of immense power. He plans to use that power against wizard kind. We have no time to waste. I see. Nonetheless, the knowledge you shall gain after you witness my memories is too valuable to share without further consideration. I shall require time to confer with the other keepers. It seems we have no choice but to wait, frustrating as it is. I heard what you told Professor Bakar. Isadora was inhaling emotions to gain power? She was, and she pulled emotions, as she did from her father, from Professor Fitzgerald, without permission. Monstrous. What's more, she said that she found a way to store the traces of magic she extracted in goblin silver. 
The repositories? Possibly. There's something I didn't get a chance to tell you earlier. Ranrock has been digging at locations tied to the five names he found in the journals of a goblin metal worker named Bragball. Five names? The Keepers, and who else? Isadora Morganak? Precisely. That's how he's been one step ahead of us. Gringotts, the Tower, Rookwood Castle. If the Keepers won't tell you where the next trial is yet, I say we at least maintain a watch on Ranrock. Perhaps he'll lead us to more information. Perhaps. I hope to hear from Lodgok soon. I haven't heard anything since I learned of the drills. Oh, and as you've probably guessed by now, your Polyjuice plan worked like a charm. I knew it would. I may have done too good a job distracting Black. I had no idea he can't hold his fire whiskey. Okay. Like, you just gotta do drunk. <laughs> and then you go like, oh my god, it touched, it changed my emotion without my consent. Hmm. I shouldn't have reacted so bitterly about your goblin friend. I apologize. I hope we can finish what we started with the triptych. Please meet me at the southern coast. We can search for the final canvas piece. Well, Weasley has things to tell me, but the game won't allow it. I don't care for another spell. Okay. Only following and no one. Not your best moments, I fear. What the hell is actually a uh, deer coal and a giant purple toad? Wait, I'm confused. Where am I going now? Oh, okay, there are two of them at different places. Okay. Abandoned long ago, no doubt. Found ya! See, we have an active! You're the one! That is really fucking hardcore. I just turned that person into a barrel and made that person explode. And then they go like, oh, but the forgiven spells.
you're a deadly great spider. Well, I will give them that, considering they could do everything just with magic. They're still fit. That's something to be commended. Rebellion. I should investigate. Oh, come on, don't be annoying. To saving Anne. I know it. Meet me outside of Feldcross as soon as you can. it. Well, that's not a beast. Isn't that what I'm supposed to catch? No, it's different. Defender. 
A giant purple toad. Ah, so it's that. Okay. Assignment's all finished. Beginner's luck, I say. There's so much we don't know about this. So much to learn. Dang it. Oh, time to wait. Ah, I have to wait more. Excellent work today. Class dismissed. I take it you're ready to learn... I completed your assignment, Professor. I'm ready to learn Bombarda now. Good. Now, this spell comes with a caveat. It should only be used when necessary. The exploding charm, as you might suspect, can hurt people. Use caution when casting it. <laughs> Is this something we should be learning in school? Better for you to learn it in school, where we can instruct you properly as to its use, hmm? Now, you must be precise in your wand movements. We don't want you blowing your hand off. Go ahead. Nice and steady wand movements. Remember, the exploding charm is highly volatile. Well done. Now, let us put it into practice, shall we? Go. Try it on the pumpkins. Excellent wand work. Cast the spell just like that every time. Assured and in control. Okay, Mumbar lesson is nice. Professor, might I have a moment? Yes. What is it? Oh, I don't Apologies. care. Apologies. <sighs> Uh, I should stop. But, yeah. Hopefully, 
we'll get Avada Kedavra soon. Handy resource indeed, your field guide. I'm most pleased to be included. Expelliarmus! Bombarda! If you could shout it. I should probably have some sort of structure that makes sense. I'll think about it later, but like, you know. Uh, B for yellow, yellow spell, A for blue one, and then I can go like X and Y for forbidden spell and red ones. Something like that. Could make sense. Anywho, that's the end for this session. Uh. Have anything good in here actually? Oh yeah. Maybe I do? I don't know. I like the mask, it kinda of looks like the Court of Owls in Batman. Okay, that's it. Veloxfer out.